care what you say. I don't care what you think. I'm very rich. I don't have a problem. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I don't In know. 2016, this video popped up on the Facebook account of Lawrence Malong, or as he likes to call himself. Uh, <clears throat> for those guys uh, who don't know, uh, let me say it like this. For those guys who don't know me, uh, my name is Lawrence Walmalong Yor, uh, Lawrence Walmalong Yor Jr., aka Young Tycoon, uh, one of the African youngest billionaire. Uh, it's an eight minute rant by Malong about people's comments that he is wicked because he has so much money. So the people look at wicked part of mine that uh, Lawrence Walmalong Yor, Lawrence Walmalong Yor Jr is uh they only look at my wickedness part of mine that Laura Lamalong Jr. like to show off his wealthy and in social media and all these things. You know why only you look at my wickedness part? Why you don't look at my achievement part like I donate a lot of money? Why you don't tell Laura Lamalong Yor donate a lot of money to his school, to the church, to the Red Cross? Why you don't say that? Why you only say Laura Lamalong Yor show off with million and billion of dollars in cash? Yes, yes you see. Oh, oh, oh. The people who question his wealth may have a point. After all, he comes from South Sudan, a country where one out of ten people is a refugee, one of the poorest countries in the world. But he lives an unapologetic life of luxury. But if he's the young tycoon, his father is king. Paul Malong Awan also known as King Paul in South Sudan, is widely known for his immense wealth, allegedly from the ownership of businesses in Uganda and South Sudan. But he stands accused of embezzlement of millions of dollars from South Sudan by none other than his former ally and boss, current president, Salva Kiir. Oh, what's, for those of us who don't understand, yeah. explain to us, please. Because in the video, yeah. you ex obviously, you were swimming in money. Yeah. You're obviously a rich man in your own way. Yes. But the implication was you were the son yeah. of General Paul Malone. No, I'm not the son of General Paul Malone. I mentioned in the video, and every interview that I done within, with media, okay, with local media or international media, I mentioned my name. When you go and watch the video, I say, Lauren Lual Malong, your junior. My dad is Lauren, my dad is Lual Malong, your senior. Then I became Lual Malong, your junior. And I mentioned in the video, yeah. I'm not using the third name of, my, of a one or a nay. Right, you are just your, tongue. you're just your father's son. Yes. But this is not your father. No, it's not my father. Malong is not my father. Are you related to General Malong? No, we are not. So why was it assumed that you were his son swimming in money. I don't know. But I'm not his son. Why are they his son? They are not, okay, if people are accusing me that I'm his self son, why is not really his son? They're not swimming in the money. In, uh, in our culture, in a Dinka culture, when you call someone his self son, is abusing. Those guys who are calling me his self son of General Malong, they are abusing me. I'm not a self son of General Malong. I'm Lawrence Lual Malong, your junior. And I always mention in every video, even the video that I'm swimming with money. I mentioned Lauren Lual Malong, your junior. General, when you saw this young man swimming in the money and they assumed it was your son. I, he did not say he's my son. But the and I did, not, I did not say he's my son. Today, I found the people who said Lual is my son. And these are the people I will pursue them. You're going to take action against them? Yes, I, them to immediately. But, but people in, in South Sudan, in Juba, do they know this is not your son? Or it's, it's not my son. They know this. It's not my son. Yeah, everybody, know knows. everybody knows. Yeah. Yeah, everybody knows. It's just the rest of us who don't know yeah. assume, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you see, the areas are even different. His grandfather hmm, is the chief, which is Malong Yor. Everybody knows. The Kenyan know who have gone to that area know them. Americans, they know Malong Yor, who is Malong Yor. So you think these people were just being malicious in doing this? They are doing that. You, you think that's why? They are, they are malicious. They are malicious. And even even I know some who, who were planning of this as a son Sudanese. I know them. As a son Sudanese, I know them. And those, they want me to talk of what I know about them. Mm. Otherwise, they want me to talk of what I know about them. Yeah. Luol Malong. Your. 
your, junior. Yeah, junior. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that was you swimming in the money, right? Yes, that's me. And you did that deliberately. I mean, you posted that on Facebook. I, right? I always post the money because, you know, I'm a very rich man. As you see, I'm wearing Jimmy's shoes. How much is costing? You know it yourself. Is that Jimmy ten, shoe? Yeah, this Jimmy's shoe. $10,000. And, you know, the same Rolex you are wearing it. The same Rolex I'm wearing with the diamond, which is $100,000. So you're a wealthy man in your own way? My own way, yeah. And you've made your own money? Yes. And I mentioned in the video that I got my wealth from my Lord Jesus Christ. I never say from alone or from wherever that people are accusing me I'm getting money from. Yeah. yeah. When you saw yourself in the documentary with the general implicated as his son, what did you think? What? I always deny. I'm not his son. He's abusing. Even when you are calling me his son, you are abusing me. And I mentioned in different documentary and I mentioned also in, in different interview. So I'm not a Malung son. I'm Malung your son. Okay, that's why I give you one example. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. Donald Trump Jr. is the son of Donald Trump Sr. Right? Yes. Yes. So I'm Lual Malung Yor Jr. because I'm a son of Lual Malung Yor Sr. Before I let you go and continue with the general, uh, yeah. you said you made your money through Jesus Christ? Yeah, my, my Lord Jesus Christ blessed me. I fly with private jet, I live in presidential suit. Where I come from now, I'm paying 2500 a night in Serena Hotel. That, 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 that's where I live. How did you make your money? I said, I'm blessed. Here is it. With my number, with my room number, Nairobi Serena. I sleep in, in presidential suite. How did you make your money? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. How old are you? I'm 30. Well, you must be having lots of blessings, my friend. Thank you. All right, we'll let you go. This interview will continue another time. I, we haven't finished with you. No, no problem. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you so much for clearing the air, actually. What are you going to do to these people who made the documentary? Do you uh, well, uh, I don't have a problem with those guys who make documentary because I, I, I love the media. I'm the one who attract the media. Okay. I love the media. I want to be famous. I have my own ambition why I want to be famous. I cannot tell you why I want to be a famous. Now I'm international and known worldwide. Okay. Like my, the video that you saw it was been played in CNN, Al Jazeera and other international media. Okay. And you think I, that's good? I mean, yes, it's good for me. I make it. Yeah. So you want to be famous? I already famous. That's why you met me. If I'm not famous, you could have not met me. Okay. Lual <laughs> Malong Jr. Yeah. Thank you. General.